Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of Gizmo Joe. Today we'll be taking a look at the Xiaomi Wi-Fi range extender. This device is available at gearbest.com for roughly seven to ten dollars and that's uh, US dollars and I'll leave a link in the description of this video if you're interested in grabbing one. So what does this little device do? As the name implies a range extender extends your Wi-Fi network. It achieves this by essentially catching your existing Wi-Fi signal and then throwing it further. Uh, so if you find that certain areas of your home or office uh, where the Wi-Fi coverage is patchy or non-existent, a range extender can help. It may not help, but it can help. Uh, Wi-Fi range extenders vary in price. Uh, a whole bunch of different manufacturers make them. Uh, some are inexpensive, some are very expensive. Uh, and that's why the Xiaomi Wi-Fi range extender was so appealing to me is because it is significantly cheaper than virtually any other brand I've seen on the market. Uh, the downside to this is that officially uh, this extender is only compatible with Xiaomi made routers. However, uh, I'm going to run through how you can set this guy up with virtually any router that you may have. Uh, it's not that hard. Anyway. Um, just as far as the construction concerned, this thing, you might be wondering what the heck this is. This is the packaging that it came in. You can see it's very, very simple. It's all in Chinese on the back, so I have no idea what it's saying. Uh, but it's not a particularly complex device, so it's pretty easy to understand how this works. So as you can see, uh, the design, it's just basically a little bar. It just says Wi-Fi Plus over there. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, but it's a f uh, you know made of plastic, a flat matte sort of black finish. Uh, it's got a little LED indicator light there, a reset button there where you'll need a paper clip or something to poke that. And then it's got this little end at the bottom and it's just a standard USB, as you can see. So, uh, first thing you want to do to get this guy up and running is to plug it into a USB power source. This could be a phone charger, it could be a spare port on your laptop, pretty much anything uh, that is a powered USB. Uh, it's it's good to go and once you plug it in you'll see this little indicator light uh, light up orange ish um, now that's essentially just means that it's getting power it doesn't mean that it's actually working yet so what you actually need to do is head to the play store uh, so I'll just fire it up on my spare phone here you're going to want to get an app called Me Home. It's made by Xiaomi. Uh, it's on the Play Store, so it's legit. It's got over a million downloads. Uh, you can see the user rating isn't that great, and then we'll get into that in a minute. But basically, you install that onto your phone, okay? And then once it's installed and ready to go, you fire it up. And yours will look different because mine's already set up. Uh, but what you want to do is once you uh, fire it up, it's going to ask you where you are. Now, I've read online and it basically just says choose mainland China as your location. Why? I don't know. Apparently they say it works better. I don't see why that should be an issue. But anyway, I didn't deviate from what I read online. I just did mainland China. Now, when I fired up the app originally after selecting my location, uh, everything was pretty much in Chinese. Not everything, but quite a bit of it was, which was a bit uh, concerning for me because I don't know how to read or speak Chinese. Um, however, um, I figured out that uh, it's actually pretty easy. Um, all you need to do to set this little device up with your existing Wi-Fi router is hit that little plus sign. Uh, so again, you got to make sure that this guy's plugged in, little orange light is on. Hit the plus sign. This thing will scan, so the app will scan for you know any Xiaomi related home devices. And you should see this guy pop up. It will say extender in the name somewhere. All right, it may have some funny numbers or something, like I don't know if you can see mine or, or some crazy string of numbers, but it will say something, extender, or whatever. You'll figure it out. All right, um, so all you gotta do is once it finds it is tap on that extender. And then at this stage, you're gonna be brought to another page or pop-up or whatever uh, that asks you to plug in your Mi account information. So this is like your Xiaomi account information. If you don't have one, there's an option to set one up. So make sure you go ahead and do that. Um, it doesn't take long. It takes like two seconds and uh, you're ready to go. Now, once you log into your account, uh, you can essentially uh, see, I don't know if you guys can see that, but 
that's this guy, this little guy here. It's not available for me to tap on right now because it's not plugged in, but you can see my Wi-Fi repeater. So I've already done this whole setup, so um, that's why it, you can't see it. But anyway, when you create your account, it will see this guy and then you can start configuring it, right? So what you'll see is uh, it will list your SSID of your current router. So the current network that you have in your house, whatever you name it, whether it's the default from your router or you named it something funny or whatever, uh, just find that one, okay? And then tap on it. If you have a password on that network, which I'm assuming most of you do, you're going to have to pop in that password, okay? And then you just sit back and relax. You'll see a little indicator telling you what sort of percentage is done. Uh, when it is finished, it will reach 100%, but just have a look at this little guy because if the light on there turned from uh, orange to blue, that means that the um, pairing process was a success and it is working 100%. Okay, um, now what you can do to check is number one, it will show up in your Mi Home app. So like I said, mine's right there. If I tap on it right now, it's going to jump into it and it's going to say I can't find it. Um, but that's because I've unplugged it for this video. Uh, but if you want to actually start using your extended network, what it does is it basically creates a secondary network. Uh, and it's whatever your SSID name is so on your original network uh, it will show up in your phone or your laptop or whatever as that same SSID name with a plus after it so it will say so for instance um, I'll show you guys real quick I'll just jump into my settings here you can see that my uh, network is Troy and Abed in the modem well once I have this guy plugged in it says Troy and Abed in the modem plus uh, and that's obviously the extended network courtesy of this little device. Anyway, so it's as simple as that. So, I mean, it sounds kind of intimidating when you have to essentially, uh, you know, download an app and it's in Chinese and you're like, oh my gosh, I don't know how I can do this. But it's, it's super, super simple. It took me all of five minutes, if that. Um, and it works really well. So... Like I said, I have to admit that I was on the fence about buying this little device. I mean, I was reading online. They said, you know, people were having trouble with the app and it was in Chinese, et cetera, et cetera. But uh, I didn't really have any problems with it. And I'm very happy that I went ahead and bit the bullet with it because in my kitchen, which is right behind me, uh, sometimes the Wi-Fi signal isn't that great. Uh, with this guy now, I have no problems whatsoever. Uh, the setup process was quick, painless, and the performance is really top-notch. So if you need to extend your current Wi-Fi network, I would highly recommend that you consider the Xiaomi Wi-Fi range extender, regardless of your budget. Uh, even if you have tons of money to spend, you don't really need to spend a lot to get really good performance. Like I said, this guy's about 7 to $10, depending on whether you can get one uh, on sale. Anyway, uh, that's going to do it for today's episode. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. This has been Gizmo Joe, and I'll catch you next time.